there's an old friend of ours. Hey there, Missy. Small world, eh? Yep, after that gallery, I, I didn't think I'd be able to get a job guarding a room full of jack squat from the boogity man. <laughs> but then I get a call offering me this sweet night shift slot, and I'm back in a security game. <laughs> well, enough about my lucky break. Uh, you uh, here to see one of the bigwigs, Missy? Would that be Sebastian LaCroix of the LaCroix Foundation, or Dwayne LaCroix of Insurrection Baby Formula Company? Uh, okay then. Mr. LaCroix, he told me to expect someone fitting your description sometime tonight. You go right on up. Yeah, uh, you have a good power meeting, or, uh, whatever it is you types do up there. You need any security? Well, you just ring the front desk and ask for Officer Chunk. That's me, in case you were wondering. Ah, yeah, I, I get that all the time. The name goes back to my football days. Oh, actually, uh, my fantasy football days uh, at the station. Stationarium. That was this office supply outlet mall I used to watch. Hey, you kids! No skating in the parking lot! <laughs> that was me. There you are. I was informed of your presence in the building. Since you're here, I'll take the liberty of assuming you've destroyed the warehouse. This is correct, yes? Most excellent. I had no doubt you'd prove my decision a prudent one. I trust you encountered no impediments to your progress on account of my personnel. That is the answer I like to hear. You've done well, circumstances being what they were. I will admit, not many in your position would have overcome such a trial. But don't misunderstand me. It was no fool's errand. You may yet prove to be a genuine asset. It's a bit disturbing the lack of talent within this organization as of late. Tell me, what would you say to doing a bit of reconnaissance for me? Excellent. Were you by chance in the military at all? I was an officer myself, actually, in Napoleon's ranks. There have been whispers, rumors spreading around the kindred community concerning the Elizabeth Dane, the cargo ship that was towed into port recently. Have you heard of it? The police are investigating the Dane as we speak. Even the Nosferatu have little information on what's been found. However, the reason the ship has caused such speculation is because it was transporting an object called the Ankaran Sarcophagus. Now, I'm not one to predicate a decision based on conjecture, so what I need is fact. And more importantly, I need evidence that the occurrences on the Dane were not supernatural in nature, and in no way relate to this Ankaran Sarcophagus. You have three objectives. One. I want you to examine the sarcophagus for anything unusual. You may sense something peculiar about the sarcophagus. In fact, many kindred in the city have reported an uneasiness in the air since the Dane's arrival. Do not, under any circumstances, open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Secondly, the police have begun their investigation. Find out what they have concluded thus far. Thirdly, take the cargo manifest for the ship. I want to find out what else it was carrying. The last thing we want is police aware of our existence, so be careful what you do in front of them. And unlike the warehouse, you cannot wholesale slaughter a ship full of lawmen without consequences. Is this understood? Good. Oh, and it has come to my attention that you had an encounter with Nines Rodriguez earlier. The man so does love to throw that cretinous charm of his brashly about. What exactly did Mr. Rodriguez say? Nothing they haven't crassly delivered untold times within Elysium. You have to understand, most of the Anarchs know no better option, or have been bullied into their cause by the unruly ones. 
You can't fault all for the boorishness of a few. Now that that's out of the way, I trust you're prepared to leave for the Dane. Good. I'm counting on an encore exposition of the talent you showed earlier. Go. And remember, under no circumstances are you to open the Ankaran sarcophagus. We'll talk later. Good. There's a boat waiting for you on the beach in Santa Monica. So, we're off to Santa Monica. Hey, hey. You, hey, what can I say? You preserve my ass. I truly appreciate you not saying anything, and I want you to know I take care of those who do me favors. So from now on, you need equipment, info, you come see me at my apartment. Don't hesitate. I tell you, that blood you guys got's an amazing thing. Help close up a few wounds. This back alley patch fixed up the rest. I needed that beating. Good reminder not to overestimate my ability. Last time it's gonna happen. He's got nothing now, but he will have some great stuff later. And I'm down at Humanity. And now's a good time to pick one up. Hi. This life's been hard on him. Both of us. But he forgives me. We're leaving soon. I have some family with a place out in the middle of nowhere in Oregon. It should be okay for us to stay out there, as long as we're together. Number four. Give her her stuff back, and there you go. I swear, either one of you starts to sparkle, and I'm going to kill all of you. I have an axe. Don't mess with me. Tell Jacobson if he plans on making editor-in-chief, he's got to start working with me. I can't keep getting him these scoops if he's going to send high school journalists who don't know enough to wear something that would blend in. Jeez, what kind of wood sting? Don't think to at least show dressed up like an investigator, a Coast Guard guy, something. I mean, didn't you ever see Fletch? What, are they just handing out those diplomas nowadays? All right, look. I got you a copy of the initial report, and I can get you into the cabin, but you gotta make yourself real scarce after that. Anybody catches you, I don't know you. And no goddamn flash photography, brainchild. Hold up a sec. Heinz to Marsh. Heinz to Marsh. Marsh, they need you up in the bridge. Over. There. The security room will be clear. Head down the stairs behind you and stay low. When you get down there, wait for me to call off the guy guarding gangway A. As soon as he leaves, get your ass moving, and don't let him see you. I'll give you a couple of minutes, but don't dilly-dally. In and out, okay? Don't forget to stay out of sight. If anyone sees you, you're on your own. Take the stairs up to the security room. There'll be a computer in there. The password is Lighthouse. Lighthouse. All one word. You getting all this? Now get a move on. And don't forget to tell Jacobson I get double my usual fee for this one. Heinz to Jacobson, uh, Anderson. Heinz to Anderson, come in, Anderson. Come check this out, I just saw a baleen whale. Yeah? This is an easy sneaking mission. I really like how the ship rocks. I don't understand though why people don't notice how much blood is on the floor when they go through this mission. This ship is covered in blood. And if you want to know what it looks like around the Ankaran sarcophagus, you can do the mission this easy way and then save it and go take a look.
or you get stuck like that. With really high sneak, this is a very easy mission, and that's all there is to it. Nice view. Now we're gonna see nines. Two minutes, newbie. All the time I've got to spare right now. Came to California to get out of the Dust Bowl during the 30s. That's a stupid question. Freedom. Alright, this might help you out. I use guns, but most vamps get up close and personal. In that case, the thing to do is to let them come in for the attack first, and dodge it or take it in the gut. Then use your blade to deliver the death blow. Time's up. Come around in a few nights if you're still alive, maybe I'll have time to kill. But I doubt it. And if you do it exactly like that, 1-1-2, one, one, you get an extra point of melee. And you have to see nines before you report to LaCroix, where it doesn't work. Hey, uh, I know this might seem creepy and all, but please don't blow me off, okay? Someone told me I could find you here. I mean, I've been looking all over for you since that night. Because I just wanted to... I'm in your debt. I want to help you. I owe you my life, and I feel like I need to repay you. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm Heather. Heather Poe. I'm not weirding you out or anything, am I? Only because of you. What you did for me. Here, I... I got you this. I thought you might be able to use it. I can be useful to you. I'd do anything. Just tell me you'll let me help you. Let me stay with you. Make me feel this way. Really? I promise you won't regret it. Promise! I'll get you money, I'll get you things, everything. I don't want to be... <sighs> important to you. I know where you live. I checked there first. I'll wait for you at your place. And when you do come back, I'll take care of whatever you want. I'd do anything for you. She is a really valuable asset to have. 